Transformation only happens in the midst of story, myth and image, not mere mental concepts. A great story pulls you inside of a universal story, and it lodges in the unconscious, where it is not subject to the brutalities of your intellect or will, as Thomas Merton might say. From that hidden place, you are healed. When I look at the world around me, I see brokenness. What have we done to our home? Hello? I look at my own life and I see brokenness. A broken heart. Having two daughters, I want to make a difference now more than ever. I want to speak hope where there is suffering, life where there is death. I want to capture the richness of humanity, the beauty of creation, the excitement of adventure. I want to do this through filmmaking because I'm passionate about it but more so because filmmaking is one of the greatest influencers in our generation. Storytelling, poetry and imagery provides an emotional experience. In some way or another, we all are dysfunctional beings. Watching stories of dysfunctional characters invites us to relate and identify with their pain. And joining them on a journey of transformation unlocks an opportunity for our own healing. If filmmaking and the entertainment industry has such a high impact on our world, the question remains, what values are communicated through it? Australian director George Miller puts it this way. I believe cinema is now the most powerful secular religion, and people gather in cinemas to experience things collectively, the way they once did in church. The cinema storytellers have become the new priests. They're doing a lot of the work of our religious institutions, which have so concretized the metaphors in their stories, taken so much of the poetry, mystery, mysticism out of religious belief that people look for other places to question their spirituality. Just as I want to make movies that transform people's lives, I also hope that this video in some way touched your heart. <laughs>